I needed that coffee. G'day everyone, my name is Dave and there's a line in the Bible that says, you can't always get what you want, but if you try, sometimes you'll get what you need. Huh? Hang on, that's a line from a song. Uh, let's do it again. So I recently posted a photo to my Instagram account showing people what the real green pasture of Psalm 23 actually looks like and got a crazy response. So today I want to show all of you what the real green pasture looks like and show you how Psalm 23 tells us what we want, what we really, really want. That was dumb. Well, welcome back to Two Minute Devotions. If this is your first time here, this is the place where I like to do short two minute videos every Tuesday that help you take a practical step in your spiritual journey. So why don't you hit the subscribe button right here so that you never miss an episode or click the YouTube card up here to see more two minute videos. Today we are talking about Psalm 23, perhaps the most well known of the Psalm. So let's put two minutes up on the clock and see what we can achieve in 120 seconds. Well, as I said in the intro, I posted this photo on my Instagram account recently, which is the actual place where a young shepherd boy named David cared for his sheep during the time of the Bible. Now, side note, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I'll leave a link in the show notes down below. I mean, does this look like a green pasture to you? Even as I stood here overlooking this landscape, it was hard to believe that sheep could even survive here, but it's true. In fact, if you you have a closer look, you can actually see tufts of grass growing out from underneath the rocks. You see, scientists tell us that at night, a breeze from the Mediterranean Ocean blows across the desert, bringing with it a small amount of moisture in the form of humidity. Thanks a lot, science. When this breeze hits the side of a hill, some moisture forms around rocks and woof, a tuft of grass grows overnight. Is that the sound that grass makes when it grows overnight? Woof. Does grass even have a sound? Oof. Now, I've actually watched, watched, think my voice is breaking. <laughs> I have actually seen shepherds lead their flocks in this area, going from rock to rock where the sheep eat one mouthful at a time and then look to their shepherds for the next rock, for the next tuft of grass. And I think that's an amazing picture of the way God wants all of us to depend on Him. But whenever we picture the green pasture of Psalm 23, we probably imagine knee-high grass for as far as the eye can see. And a sheep in this sort of environment doesn't need to look to their shepherd for every mouthful because they've already got everything they could ever want. In fact, they kind of don't even need a shepherd at all. But in the desert, sheep learn that what they really want is actually what they need most a shepherd they can depend on. We all want a meadow of tall grass as far as the eye can see. But God wants all of us to depend on Him for every single mouthful. Putting your trust in God means understanding that He takes care of what you need today, today, and what you need tomorrow, tomorrow. So that leads us to the question of the day. Are you ready to depend on God for everything? If so, why don't you let me know by leaving a comment down below. And while you're there, why don't you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so that you get notified whenever I post a new two-minute devotion. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week.